So, we've all heard the news now that Apex Legends Mobile soft launch is coming next. Last week, Respawn posted this announcement that shows that the game is going to be available in select regions only. But guys, the big question is, what date is the game dropping? What's going on boys? Welcome back to another Apex Legends Mobile video. In this one, I'm going to give you my personal opinion based on research on when I think the soft launch is actually going to get here. Because guys, I see the comments, okay? Yo, Roast, when is the game dropping, bro? Roast, I know you know the date. Just tell us, bro. Roast, I just want to grind the leaderboards, bro, and run around as Loba and then take her on a nice juicy date to a nice Italian restaurant and order a nice pasta together. What? Ha, <laughs> but for real. Without further ado, let's take a look into when I think it's coming. But before I do, make sure you smash that like button and tell me what your favourite weapon is to use in Apex Legends Mobile. Let's go! Okay, so last week we had the official EA press conference where, you know, they talked about their data, their financials, their revenue, everything, and basically upcoming sort of games. They did confirm in that press conference that the soft launch for Apex Legends Mobile is coming next, but they didn't actually give us a specific date. Now, in that press conference as well, they did did actually mention that there's going to be a global version of the game and a Chinese version of the game. This is pretty normal in mobile games because obviously Chinese and Japan and they're big markets for mobile games so it's pretty normal that they have a Chinese version and a global version. Now there are some rumors going around that the Chinese version is going to be dropping right in the middle of the year at the end of May. This is obviously unconfirmed but if we take a look back at previous mobile games such as Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG, global versions usually drop before the Chinese version so if that's the case then we should be getting the global version obviously before the end of May. Now if we are actually looking into what a soft launch is, soft launches in mobile games typically last you know three to four months before the actual global version of the game and a lot of you guys actually ask yo Rose what is a soft launch? I've said this before it's basically a launch of the game in specific regions to be able to have the developers test out the game before it actually leads up to the global launch. They can do regular updates, they can change things, they can fix bugs, glitches and stuff ready for when the global launch actually releases. Now if we are to believe that the global launch is actually going to drop around the middle of the year, around the end of May, beginning of June, then we're actually at the beginning of February now, which means that, in my personal opinion, I think that the soft launch should be coming anywhere from now, the beginning of February, up until the end of March. So basically anywhere from now within the next few months. But again, it's still unconfirmed. I don't even know myself. I know a lot of you guys have been mentioning, you know, I'm an EA creator, I should know dates, I should know all of this. I actually don't know myself, okay? Even if I did, obviously I would have to sign some sort of NDA to make sure I don't say anything, but I literally don't know anything. Now, one thing to take note, in the EA press conference, they actually mentioned that they are planning a huge fiscal year, 2022. Now, EA's fiscal year basically runs from April to April every single year. They did mention in the EA press conference that they are planning some huge, huge revenue income for their fiscal year, 2022, which means from the beginning of April this year to the beginning of April next year. So me, doing my research, looking at it from, you know, a company and a business standpoint, it makes more sense for them to release the global version in between that fiscal year. So obviously it's probably going to come after April this year. Now, another interesting thing to look at is on previous closed betas that happened last year in Apex Legends Mobile, on the internet browser of the Google Play Store, on the Apex Legends mobile app, you'll see some date changes on regular updates of the game. And the last one actually happened on the 2nd of February, five days ago. On last year's closed betas, when this happened, we actually got the beta a few weeks, well, two to four weeks after the actual update on the Google Play Store. So again, unconfirmed, but just do the maths, boys, okay? If they're updating the game behind the scenes on the Google Play Store, it means they're getting ready to give us the soft launch. So again, my personal prediction is we're in the beginning of February now. I think it's going to come anywhere until, from now until the end of March. Now that's out of the way, I actually want to answer another question that you guys actually have been asking me a lot is, can you buy stuff in the soft launch? So in previous mobile games, you can actually purchase stuff in the soft launch and there's going to be, you know, gold apex coins you can buy. There's going to be loads of skins, loads of weapon skins. There's going to be, you know, stuff in the store that you can actually buy with real money. But obviously when we go into the global launch after the soft launch ends, what happens with that money. If Respawn are going to do the same thing as previous games, then you'll most likely expect all everything that you purchase in the soft launch will basically be refunded back to you in the global version. Because obviously they're not going to get you to spend your money on, and you know, hard-earned money on skins and weapons and stuff without, you know, and then you go into the global version 
and then all of that just disappears and you have to basically start again and you've wasted a ton of money on skins. I don't think Respawn are that sort of company, guys. So anything you purchase in the soft launch is probably going to tie over to the global version. You might get refunded everything you buy and you'll have to buy it all again. Or, you know, you'll keep that same account and you'll be able to use it in the global version. And that goes for the leaderboards as well. Obviously, the leaderboards between the soft launch and the global version of mobile games, they usually stay. So if you're, you know, number one on the leaderboards in ranked, then... Uh, in the soft launch then it should tie over to the global version as soon as the change is made that is unconfirmed and we could you know see a massive reset between the soft launch and global but if you don't want to take that risk and you know you want to be top 10 on the leaderboards before the global version you better get grinded in the soft launch which leads me to my next thing when you're actually playing the soft launch make sure you log in using your actual google play account because then you can save that same account and you can use all of the stuff you purchase on that same account from soft launch to global launch now that's all the research and everything i have for you guys okay it's not too much today i'm trying to give you as much info and as much research as possible you guys have been absolutely popping off on twitter asking me so many questions and stuff so make sure you go follow my twitter and make sure you actually subscribe as well okay boys the subscribes are actually slowing down so don't know what's going on you guys are watching this video make sure you press subscribe and keep up to date with anything apex legends mobile related now boys that's the end of today's video i hope that's been a help so make sure you hit a like and i'll catch you boys in the next video peace